hey y'all welcome back to my channel for those of you new here i'm brianna and right now i'm at sonic again getting some dinner i just left a basketball game and that was pretty fun and refreshing it looks like it's trying to snow again because early when i was recording it was a little snow coming down and it looks like it's still snowing just a little bit you know arkansas where i live at we don't really get that much snow when i get home i have a little bit that I need to do. I need to do some editing for a client and I need to get some writing done because I'm trying to have a more consistent writing schedule to start the year off because hopefully they'll allow me to finish the book that I'm working on because I've been working on this book for a minute and ideally I want to have this one come out in October because it's like a book that's related to like homecoming and most homecomings are around October so I really need to have that done by October. I mean it's not a must but that's just what I prefer. So hopefully it's gonna be done by then. And I really wanna get it done before March. I really think I can get that done if I'm if I'm consistent with my writing because it really shouldn't take me this long to finish the story. But with this story, it's just so many different plot lines because this is for my series and my series is written from three point of views. And I think that makes it hard to weave things together. And I was kind of struggling to figure out how I wanted to do that. And I really, I really got into a good groove with this story last week, and I hope to carry that throughout this week too. So that's what I need to do. And I was going to write the other day, but yeah, I don't know if it's just me or if other writers experience this. I got two books that I've been working on. One of them is basically finished. It needs some minor revisions here and there, but nothing that's going to take too long. So I need to do that because I'm just putting it off. And I need to finish this other book, the second one that I'm working on. <laughs> but instead of doing either one of those tasks i decided to start a fifth book because there was just an idea that came to me and i was like i need to write this out so yeah i started a fifth book knowing i'm not doing with these other two yeah <laughs> i don't know why i do this but you know that's, i think that's just the life of being a writer and that's what i enjoy about being a writer because it allows you to just be as creative as you want to be and why not pursue an idea when it comes to you because even if it doesn't work out completely, at least you get to experience the fun of coming up with an idea and trying to flesh it out. Anyway, that's where we are when I get home. I'm gonna work on this, these edits for this client and then I'm gonna get me some writing done for book three of the King Kai series. So I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. All right, I'm back home now. Got to grab my laptop and head into the living room to do my editing. Well, it's gonna do it in my room, but my sister's in the living room. And I feel bad for leaving her in there by herself. And I'm also gonna show y'all the new prints that I got. I'm still waiting on two more, but those are two that I have up at the top. This one says, black women are art, so art will never die. And this one, I just thought it was really cute. And this one, I liked it because she has locks as well, even though much longer and neater looking than mine. <laughs> and that's something my mama bought me. Over our back is my Harvard graduation photo. And here's an article when I won the Miss South Spelling Bee and went to the National Bee. That's some random award that I won in junior high school. <laughs> and this, I got this after I won the Miss South Bee too. So I'm still waiting on two more prints to come in and I don't really know exactly where I'm gonna put them. I might have to move some things around. I got one of them. I just need to get a frame for it. And the other one, hopefully it's in soon so I can figure out where I wanna put it. Cause I got like these random nails sticking out the wall because I had pictures all over the wall at first. And I really don't wanna make too many holes in the wall. So I'm trying to use the spots that already have nail holes in it just so I don't make the wall look a mess, but we gonna see. And I'll be sure to show y'all what everything looks like once it's all done and this right here is exactly why the hair was under the wig today look at this just wild and crazy wild and crazy i don't know how long i must be able to stick it out until i get my next retwist because oh lord and then the shedding it's a whole mess
right, I know I said I was gonna write tonight, but I have a bad headache and I think I need a nap. And it is currently 10.55, so this might actually be a nap or it might be me being asleep for the rest of the night. Just judging by how I feel, I think I'm gonna end up waking up around one or two, but we'll see. Hey y'all, I'm back. It is currently 3.55. I just woke up probably like 30 minutes ago and I decided to go ahead and just get up and write a little bit because I said I was gonna write today. I need to stick to my word and do it. And that nap, it really did help me because I don't really have that headache anymore. And hopefully after I get done writing, I can go back to sleep. I feel like I'm gonna be able to go back to sleep because I'm still kinda tired, but not super tired. So I might need to read or something before that. So I'm gonna do a quick writing sprint, probably 15 minutes and then lay down. Okay, my 15 minutes are up now. My sister, she came and interrupted for a little bit. So that took a little bit off my time, but that's okay. I got 495 words in, which is way more than I expected to get in because I honestly didn't even know what I wanted to focus on for this writing sprint. I really didn't feel my creative juices flowing, but I started typing, some stuff just came out and we gonna roll with that. It's mostly dialogue, which I usually stick to whenever I don't really know what I want to write or if I'm having like a day where my creativity isn't really there because dialogue is something that comes easy for me and usually once I have dialogue on the page it helps me kind of figure out what I want to do with the scene it helps me insert little things like prescriptions and feelings that I need to put on the page I don't really know if I'm gonna end up keeping this scene though I think this scene really helped me kind of get familiar with these two characters relationship but as far as like the overall plot goes I don't really know if it's gonna be completely necessary to have this in here, but I still am happy with how it, it turned out so far. I might use it, I might not. We'll see once I start doing edits and revisions, but I got my writing done. So I'm about to hop back into bed and gonna read my Bible plan and hopefully doze back off within the next 30 minutes. And I've still been reading this devotional here, The Power of Thoughts, devotional by Joyce Meyer. And it's a daily devotional and it's like each day the things they really hit on what I'm struggling with. So it's like right on time. God knew I needed this this year. So shout out to God. So this I'm going to be reading and I'm going to be on the YouVersion Bible app reading a plan that I'm doing with Joycelyn and DeAndre. And I'm going to read my one year Bible plan. Y'all, I've been on this one year Bible plan for like <laughs> probably two and a half years. Because I've been reading other Bible plans too, and it caused me to forget that I'm reading this plan too. So I've really been on it for so long. I feel like I keep hitting catch me up, catch me up, catch me up because I just be neglecting it. So I need to actually finish it this year. I'm on like 260 something, I believe. So I'm gonna try to do better this year and actually be consistent in doing that Bible plan because I need to be done with it. <laughs> I should not be doing a one year Bible plan for two, nearly three years. Guess who didn't go back to sleep? Uh, yeah, I knew I played myself when I took that nap, but I needed it to help my headache go away. So I might even be mad about that. I spent the last few hours popping in and out of rooms on Clubhouse and watching YouTube videos. So I guess I can still say it was a productive night because I learned a lot. That's all that matters, right? But anyway, I know I'm gonna need a nap by the end of the day at some point. Don't know when it's gonna hit me, but it's definitely gonna hit me. And if anybody's wondering why my doorknob is missing, it's been missing since I was a kid. I don't know what I did to knock it off, but I knocked it off. And I lost it at some point and never really got it replaced. So that's why that's there. And I had all the pictures and stuff on my wall. I had like a sticker covering it up. So I really forgot it was there. And now I'm just reminded that it's there because every time I look at a video I record, I see it and I'm like, oh, I should probably explain what that is. But yeah, that's the story of the doorknob. Not really much of a story, but that's what happened. Oh, a hot dog, look at it. Look at it.
Spocka, spocka, spocka. Days in Valley, huh? What's up, Nicole? No, I probably typed it wrong. Sorry, Mom. Get me off of it. <laughs> <laughs> We just got back home and I'm gonna show y'all what I got today. Cause we really only went to a couple stores and I only bought something from Target. I got some new picture frames. So I was able to hang this print up and this one, which actually just came in the mail today. So it was perfect timing. They're so pretty. And this is the layout I have now. Probably gonna change it eventually, but this is how things are looking right now. And y'all can see those little random nails that I still have up on my walls. But for now, this will do. And I don't know if I told y'all, but I was struggling to find a new planner. And I ended up ordering one on Amazon, but it wasn't the right size. You know, it was the same brand I wanted. The 2021 version of the planner that I wanted and the large size coming out in February for whatever reason. So, yeah. So I ended up canceling my order for my small one. And I got this one right here. Now, that's literally everything I was looking for. That's why I can't sleep on Target. But yeah, it's it's really cute. The um the lines on it are pinkish, which matches my laptop, and it comes with stickers, which I love using in planners. Oh, I didn't even know this had like a little ruler up in here. Um, and it's like it has like goals for the year here. Career, physical health, mental health, hobbies, etc. Oh, ain't it got a little quotes up in here too? This one says, almost everything will work again if you unplug it for a few minutes, including you. And that's by Anne Lamott. And I love planners that are like monthly and daily. So you got your monthly spread here. And then you got your daily spreads here. I have to have planners like that because... It's just the only way my brain stays organized because I can't do just monthly planners because if I do use just a monthly planner, I won't know what to focus on for each day. And I also feel like the boxes aren't as big enough as I need them to be because sometimes my day to-do list can get kind of long. So I need something like this. this. This is literally the perfect size. And funny thing, this was the first planner I actually came across when we went to Target. It's like God was looking out for me with this one. And I got a journal says she is strong and has Proverbs 31, 25 also engraved underneath that. It's a really pretty color. It's like pinkish, bluish gradient type thing here. And each page has a different scripture on it, which I really like. Yeah, I'm gonna just use this for my, my regular journal because the journal that I've been using yeah, I have like a couple more pages on it. And since I want to journal more consistently this year, I know I'm gonna need some space to do that because I don't have enough pages in my old journal. And also it'd be good to have like a fresh start for 2021. And I also got this little pencil pouch thing. Yeah, it's this on here. Kiana said it's ugly, but honestly, I don't really care how it looks. It just matched everything else that I got. And I'm gonna keep my highlighters and my pens in here for when I need to plan stuff or if I'm like, annotating a book that I'm reading. It get overwhelming to have different supplies like all over the place. Cause right now my highlighters are just, I don't even know, they're all over the place. I have some on my desk. I have some on my laptop bag. I have some in a Ziploc bag in my closet. I have some still in the package elsewhere. I don't know. So with this, I'm gonna be able to keep up with most of the ones that I'm using at the time. Happy with this purchase. But yeah, I think that's all I bought. And I had Qdoba today. Oh, I think that was the first time in a long time that I had nachos and Qdoba and the bowl was just like so full that it was heavy. So eating that tonight, tomorrow for lunch, probably tomorrow for dinner too because Lord. So now I really think I need a nap because I feel like my mood is just slowly declining because I'm sleep deprived. So I will check in with y'all a little bit later. Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, I ended up taking a nap around seven because my aunts came over so... 
had to wait a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, it was so hard saying it up. But anyway, I woke up around 11 something. Pretty long nap. I wasn't planning on sleeping that long, but my body needed it. And I didn't set an alarm or anything, so I just woke up whenever I felt like it. My aunt also bought a couple of these over. These were my absolute favorite waters as a kid. My dad used to buy me these when he would get off work. And they have so many different flavors. And for some reason, I don't ever see them at the store. But apparently they're at all the gas stations and they're like 99 cents. So I need to stop stop sleeping on the gas station and start giving me a few of these because these are so good. I love them. And I don't think there is a nasty flavor. Yeah, so if you haven't had one of these, you playing yourself. Go get you one. So what I'm about to do now is write for a little bit. It's not going to be a writing sprint. I usually only do writing sprints when I'm not in the mood to write and I know I need to get some words on the pages. But right now, I'm in the mood to write. So it might be for 20 minutes. It might be for two hours. Who knows? So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to probably check out some YouTube videos later on when I chill out and continue listening to some clubhouse rooms but yeah that's about it for today i don't really have anything else planned because it is after midnight now so i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog the first vlog of 2021 might i add and if there's any other content that y'all would like to see this new year please comment down below so i can consider that when i'm thinking about making my next video and make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell so you can know when i post another video i'll talk to y'all later bye